Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to check out My Friendly Neighborhood. This game came out a couple days ago, July 17th, I think. 18th? I'm not sure. But yeah, we covered this game, I think maybe like eight or nine months ago during the Steam Next Fest. And I really liked it and I, I said I was going to play it when it came out. Finally, it released. I come. I actually kind of forgot about it until a couple days ago. I got a, a notification saying that it was fully released. So yeah, I thought I'd check it out for you guys. It looks pretty. We had a lot of fun with with it when we played it. But yeah, it's a first person shooter. I think <laughs> you do get weapons in the game. It has some puzzles as well, but all the enemies are puppets and. It's based around, a, I think, a TV show called My Friendly Neighborhood, and all the all the enemies are puppets, or all the characters are puppets. I don't know if it's like a supernatural thing, kind of like Five Nights at Freddy's with the animatronics or anything, but yeah, they're all puppets, and they, <laughs> I think they attack you. I don't know if there's any friendly ones, but we'll, we'll find out. But yeah, we might as well get started. This is My Friendly Neighborhood. Let's go. I saw something. I felt something, maybe. Some live action cutscenes, nice. It was more real than reality. I felt like I was lost, walking through this dark tunnel, and the ground beneath me stretched on for an eternity. I felt like I was dying. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> He swerved out of his lane, striking a passenger van that started a pile up, killing seven. In weather, we'll all be sad to see another band of thunderstorms heading toward the city tomorrow night. I really like when they combine live action cutscenes. I just had this insane sense of something about it of um, emptiness and terror, and I just, I just, I don't care who she sees. We're not even married anymore. She can see whoever she wants. Control did a really good job with that. So, so Ashley, what did you do to end up solving the problem? I ignored it. Tried to forget. I watched television. And that helped? It dulls the pain. All right. I guess we'll learn about that, what she was talking about. Okay, last job of the day. What's this one about? No, it's Sprocket Palm Pop Property Management. Gordon J. O'Brien, 1993. Vacant studio lot regained power last night and began televising over top normal pro programming. The client has requested that the broadcast cast array on top of the central hotel be disabled to prevent further incidents all right crewman o'brien is on probation for a sullen and impolite behavior towards clients failure to satisfactorily complete this work will result in a termination Jeez. is that us o'brien Disabled antenna. The oh. last job of the day is always the worst. Well, I guess we're 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 a electrician, I guess, or maybe a mechanic. Property management. This field of view. I I increased the field field of view, but it's kind of making me dizzy. Might have to reduce that. I'm gonna go over here first. Any 
secrets. Looks like a crank could go here. All right. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Secret entering or secret entrance. Shh. I gotta look out for a crank. Oh, he can't jump. All right. So this is the building that they're talking about. It's a pretty nice building. Why would it be abandoned? One of the characters, I guess. I'm looking for a crank. It's locked, the key card. There's a key card reader. I didn't check if I can enter the office. Some sort of slot. Alright, so I gotta input something. Circular. Probably two halves. One, two, three, fours. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Confirmed I can count to ten, guys. I think we need a key for this. Maybe it's, it's one of those things where we come back to it later. Alright, let, yeah, let's go inside the building. Couldn't find anything. Unless there's like a crank in the, the, the truck that we came in, but... Wait, let me see one more thing. Never mind. All right, let's go into one, two, three. There's an elevator. Maybe it still works. I doubt it. Well, the place is lit up, so maybe there is power. Here we go. That's what we needed. Or half of what we needed. What are they serving? Chaka. Chaka zip, I think. Ring me. Okay. Let's do it. That thing's a little rusty. Raise the curtain. Bring up the lights. <laughs> the neighborhood is coming to town. Uh, hello. I I'm here to disconnect the antenna. Television's heartbeat has returned. A spirit of cheer brightens every child's eye. The cry goes round the kindergarten class. The neighborhood! The neighborhood! Okay. I I'm here to disconnect the antenna. I am Ricky the Sock. Your television will never be the same. <laughs> we hold on. Did you say disconnect the antenna? Yes. Oh my, no, 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 no. You mustn't do that. That would be a catastrophe. It's broadcasting over the news. The news? No, no, trust me. The antenna is just fine as it is. Doesn't need any disconnecting. Tell you what. It's fine, you wait it's here, fine. And I'll, <clears throat> and I'll, uh, I'll, get, I'll get you some... <clears throat> oh. Wasn't There's the key card. Uh, take a sec. Um, okay then. He probably doesn't want us to disconnect it. Well, most likely. Alright. 
totally normal interaction. But he's just looking out. He's not even going to question why there is a talking puppet or a talking sock. Norman. Looks like something could be placed here. Oh, here we go. Another puzzle. Junebug. Leonard. Liliana. And George. Wonder what I could place there. Something in their mouth, I think. This area is off limits. It's alright. I'm an electrician. One, two, three. Anything between the seat cushions? You always gotta check that. Alright. Well, I guess we go outside. We'll come back there later. And I gotta check if I could, if I can buy something here. A1, B2, and C3. There was two medallions. One of them is missing though, so. Oh, whoa. What the hell? What on earth? There we go. Is this glue? <laughs> Alright, we need to find some solvent. For the glue, probably. That's that's my guess. I hope it's glue. Hey, oh. <laughs> what the hell was that? Buddy. He went up there. I know it. Oh, dark room. Here we go. Token. I, I bet we use that at, at the vending machine. MFN. First broadcast review of my friendly neighborhood, Richard Lightsbury. This week, this week saw the premiere of a new series on the City Network aimed to, at preschool children, my friendly neighborhood. The show centers on the titular friendly neighborhood and its resident puppets, who, with the help of adults like Stevie, Richie Broman, teach viewers about a variety of subjects, including numbers, letters, and how to be friendly neighbor. The, the show's catch-all term of for age-old lessons about caring and sharing. While adult viewers may find their messages trite, children's hearts are captured by the neighbors. Each belt furball becomes a beloved friend whose words are are hung onto the with the trust and devotion rarely seen in older audiences previously aired as ricky and friends on independent public access television the series and creator al gerswald were recently signed by the city network broadcasting group and, and production moved to the historic city network hotel studio on the west side their movie their move into the big leagues of broadcasting is accompanied by text all right 1968 I wonder when it was canceled oh here we go what's up buddy oh <laughs> he moved the Mystic Mage. I don't know if I want to go in there. Puppet Pirates Love. Oh, there's Ricky. You can see him. He has a sword. I'm not going to go there. Screw that. It's locked from the other side. Alright, here we go. Hey Norman. Anyone there? I just kinda, uh, show up to be a friendly face in the back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sometimes I get some lines to recite too. Let me show you. Uh, <clears throat> hey buddy. Whoa! 
That was a Oh shit. No. Stay back. Stay back. He's going, he's going. I can't go that way. Oh no. He's a killer, he's a killer. I gotta run, I gotta run. What the heck is going on here? I have no weapons to protect myself or, or defend myself. I think he was just trying to give us a hug. Alright, we're gonna skip him this time. Don't mess with him. He's busy with the door. Another one. I see something right there. Oh. Hey, buddy. I think he's dead. God, the, this got creepy really fast. I'm not gonna mess with her. You can see something right there. What is that? I think that might be Lillian. Right, the green triangle door. Right, there's a couple doors. Hold up. We'll take a look at the green triangle. I bet I need a key for this though. Yeah. Health alax. There we go. You can use health relax to to restore health. Press tab to open inventory. Oh, there we go. Nice. I like when when there's like a suitcase style inv inventory. It was really good in Resident Evil 4. The neighborhood is having an outdoor bazaar. Everyone lining up at Leonard's antique display. To try on a beautiful pair of earrings, Pearl enters, sees... Oh, this is a script. Sees the earrings and cuts into the line, pushing Liliana out of the way and causing a commotion. Stevie standing up from a bench. Pearl. That, was not, that wasn't nice. Pearl sheepishly glances around at the others who are glowering, glowering at her and hunches in, in shame. I wonder if I should do the voices. You can't just put push people out of the way to get what you want, Pearl. It's more friendly to think about other people first, do you see? Pearl shakes her head timidly. Well, maybe maybe this will make it clear. Song, put another <laughs> before yourself. Put another before yourself before you go. See if someone needs help. Damn it, Pearl. But puppets use the, the toilet? No way. I think they're, they might be like haunted by the original voice actors. Something happened. That's my guess. Oh, come on, buddy. I think that might be Leonard. Alright, don't mess with the puppets just yet. Just leave them alone. It's safe to assume, based off that first interaction, that they're hostile. It's locked. It's like a key with a circular blue end. 
What is this? Man, I wish we got a, like a flashlight or something. This game is kind of dark. Oh man, do I have to go back? Wait, no, I get a weapon. Here we go. Left mouse or left button to swing the wrench. There we go. We got a weapon. I can defend myself against these guys now. There's got to be a way to jump. Unless I can break this. I need a key. Alright, Leonard. No hard feelings, buddy. Oh, come on. He got me. He got the jump. Come on. Got him. When enemies are knocked over, you can ta tape them, look at an enemy, and press E. There you go. You're not going anywhere, buddy. Oh, another one? I should have saved my health lax. I think there's probably like a couple of like levels of our health. Like we could probably go from healthy caution to um, hazardous or something. Should have saved it. Oh, there's a map. Hey, we get a map. It's kind of far. I can't, I can barely read that. At least it tells us where we are. We're on stage four. Five cents. Here we, oh, we got like a magazine. Thought this was like storage. Do I get a light? Oh, you, okay, you save here. And you can heal here. Alright. Oh, it costs five cents per save. Interesting. I like that actually. I like that. You need to have currency in order to save. I'll heal. Right, let's take her out. Oh no, here we go. Oh, here we go. That that's where we are. All right. The range on this wrench isn't very good. <laughs> oh, that look, there's a circle circle door. Hey, lady. Oh, I have no tape. Does that mean that she can get back up? Take this. There we go. I think I think that means that she can get back up. Oh, we gotta take out here now. That's all right. Green. Oh, no. She got the jump. I'll take that. You can't kill anything in this game, in this world. You can only tape them. Was I supposed to find like a key or anything? Found magazines. I think this is, might be the ammunition. Oops. Still can't open that door. Let's take a look around, I guess. But he's still tied up. <laughs> I love that. We tied him up and he, he, he regained consciousness. Now he's just on the ground, taped up, can't go anywhere. But she's up now. Damn it. Oh, 
Oh, I can take out this guy now. You can do all sorts of things. Grab your pencil and let's go on an adventure. Oh, I know. Oh, come on, come on. Danger, that's it. Got him. Guess they weren't ta taught how to open doors. <laughs> Thank God. I need some health. Unless there's a place to save. No, not yet. I'll use this. Oh, that only gives you one thing of health? Alright, never mind. Here we go. We get our gun. There you are. <laughs> hey, Ricky. Now, don't toddle off again. I've got some snackaroos waiting back in the lobby. Hey, what's going on here? Your puppet friends are attacking me. Oh, are they? How embarrassing. By the way, what's your name? What? Your name, your moniker, your handle, your nom de plume. It's Gordon. Gordon? What a beautiful name. I could say it all day. Gordon. Gordon! Gordon! Is this a gun? Does it work? Oh my, that's where I left that. Hey, that's mine. Fine. If you're gonna go gallivanting all over the place, then at least watch out for Pearl. Pearl? You know, the enormous bird that crushes people. Don't get on her bad side is all I- <coughs> What was that? What's his name? Okay. He's gonna get in. Let's do this. And we can reload. Twenty-six shots. Oh no! Here we go. Oh no! I can't tell where I'm aiming. Yeah, like you can shoot letters. <laughs> There's no reticle. Hank's inv inventor diary. I finally got it working. It's a real beaut. I think I'll call it this stenographer or sten stenography or stenograph. I don't know because it shoots letters out of an index. Shouldn't be dangerous at all, but it'll really give some someone a clunk if they hit get hit in the head. Should be useful for security, special effects, fun, etc. There you go. The steno or stenographer. I wonder if they can't leave the room. The room that they're in. So you can probably just try to bob and weave to avoid them. The R is to reload. Still can't open that. Huh. I wonder where we should we should go now. We just have we have a gun now and a wrench. I I think we should go back to the to the hotel. I think that's what we have to do. What do we need for this again? We need a crank down there. Maybe I can use a wrench for that. And then a key for this. Oh, I need the, the diamond key. Here, let's go see if I can use the wrench. But I, buddy Ricky, I think, was telling us to go to go back to the hotel. I'm pretty sure you need a wrench. Crank. Or oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, crank. Here we go. Ricky. He's giving us a care package too. I'll take that. Ricky Snackaroos achievement. Ricky, are you, are you there? Buddy. 
buddy. I can buy one of these if I want. I'll keep what I have. It's weird, you can reload your gun even when it's full ammo. You definitely need something there. Alright, nothing up here as well. Wonder if I can get rid of the the purple glue with the wrench. Let's see. Need something for this. Hmm. Alright, I'm a little lost. We don't have an objective. Well, just to get into the building, but we need something for the glue. We have one half of this thing. Maybe that's what we were supposed to look for. I didn't see it anywhere. Maybe we need... Some sort of solvent. And... Whatever that thing, the other half of the amulet. Or medallion. Alright, let's go this way. Can be the best She's right there. Wait, I'm gonna save it here. I'm gonna try not to save too much. Just cuz. I don't want to use all my money. We are at caution, but I'm gonna just wait, wait it out. Wait, can I eat one of these? What does that even do? Oh, it makes you go faster. What? Learn the alphabet? What's the alphabet? Oh, that's easy. It's what works. Oh, here we go. There we go. There we go. We needed to come back here. Got the key now. I kind of wish I could jump so I can check those lockers. <laughs> Alright, now we open this door. Pizza. I'm taking a bite of that. I don't care how old it is. Probably some of these. What are the, what is that? I think that's chocolate. Maybe some caffeine. Can I hit this? Yeah, you can. I got some more tape. What is that? Tape shut. I can totally break that with the wrench. What are you talking about? Feather hang? I'm a craft monster. Hey, that. Okay, I know where we are now. A secret VHS? Cheat tape. A cheat unlocked. There we go. I probably won't use that. I mean, that'd be fun to use afterwards, but we'll play it normally. So we need to come back here with a, a knife. But we have... Yeah, I'm just going to take this girl out. You, you have to kind of like understand the, the the range of the wrench it's actually way further than you would it's, you would expect lunch is 
probably probably the best thing to use for combat. Wait, I went the wrong way. Yeah, like the range is crazy on this thing. And if you can get the jump on the puppets, then it's probably better better to use it just to save ammunition. Right, this is the door I was looking for. Great. Wow. This must be There's multiple the sets. Coin laundry. Pizza. They're all over the place. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, here we go. The tri the square key. Oh, come on. Alright, that took a couple of them. I think I'm going to tape her. Everyone else is good. What's this? Oh, we need. I think we need to spell a word. It's like Scrabble. I take that. I think I should have looked around that one room first before I went up here. <laughs> right. Pull the lever. Let's see what happens. Opens that door. All right. Take a look around in that one room first before I continue. I'd like to find another duct tape if I can. It's locked. I'll just continue. I can hear something right here. Yeah. I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna use the gun first this time. It takes four shots to kill to down them. Wait, I could have just skipped that. <laughs> Damn it, that was a waste of ammo right there. Oh, here we go. There we go. Got got buddy. Taking this, the square key, and then some ammo. It's a sick shirt. That's quite a bird. Oh, here we go. There's Pearl. Oh, sh do I need to worry about this thing? Yeah, I do. I do. I do. I'm going to avoid the pearl right now. Where's that where's that chick? There's no handle on this side. All right, great. There's two of them down there. Good. Taking those. You know, I don't know what that was. Wait, is there another one? All right, this is where they make pizza. I bet these are all like prop pizzas. It's part of the set. Oh, it's. It's uh, 
Mushroom time? Oh. I, uh, I think I need to distract the pearl. Maybe it's anchovy time? I think birds like that. Is there a way to like activate it? Pepperoni? Alright, that does nothing. It's a waste of ammo. Onion time? There we go. There we go. Lunch is my favorite meal of the day. I always eat the food that most represents how I'm feeling at lunch. What sort of things do I eat? Oh, there's a square square door. Diamond door right here. When I'm feeling happy, I eat watermelon. When I'm sad, I eat leftovers. When I'm confused, I eat the roadkill outside. When I'm angry, I feast upon the tears of my enemies. Jeez. When I'm smart, I eat everyone else's food. And when I'm in a hurry, I uh, well, uh, maybe I shouldn't uh, talk about that one. <laughs> yeah. He eats the, the blood of his enemies. Hey there, kids. I live in your TV set. That's right. It's the It's terrifying. All right, we got, got an S. I can see wires, chips, and a big, big tool running right to the back. What do I eat? Oh, I eat the channels that you never watch. One by one. I eat the channels you never watch. Oh, here we go. Save point. Definitely saving. We made it. I guess this is where we can customize or I don't I don't know what these are shells. Probably for a different weapon. Tape. Nice. Cool. Alright, well this is where I'm gonna end it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Definitely continue this. But let me know what you guys think of the game in the comments. It's definitely something something different. But yeah. Goodbye guys.